so I had an issue not working on things. <laughs> and so I got to meet, hang around um, HackDC, which is a uh, hackerspace, makerspace yeah. out there, and ran into a guy named Tim Reuter. And uh, he re started a drone user group. Okay. Got involved with him, and he pitched the idea to me of he wanted to build a flying iPhone case. Sounds totally awesome. Pretty sure it's totally impossible. Um, it's too heavy and too small. <laughs> so that was the start of the idea, and I got to hang out with the, the user group people out there and the drone group community involved in that, and then took that opportunity to what started off as the smallest, basically we kept trying, what I was trying to do was pack the most amount of power and flight capacity into the smallest frame so I could be carrying an iPhone. Uh -huh. And at some point along the way, I realized that that's really not going to work exactly. Um, so they evolved into the pocket drone. Sorry, okay. So what I learned along the way is no one had bothered to try and pack the power of a full-size drone into a small platform to carry with you. Everyone had made small, there was lots of people who made small drones, look at Hex, um, that was a Kickstarter project that did incredibly successfully. But it's, you know, it's tiny, but you take it out and that's all it does. Um, they can't do anything else. And really one of the big ideas is it's a tool, not a toy. Mm -hmm. So we wanted it to have big speed, big range, long flight time. I mean, it'll do almost 40 miles an hour. Um, it can fly about three miles out and three miles straight back. Um, around 20 minute flight time, depending on what you're doing with them. Like, these are things, it was just a different change of concept. And instead yeah. of trying to make everything smaller, we figured out how to make it smaller to carry and still get the stability out of a full size, well, small size pla pla <laughs> flight platform. Um, by comparison, it's not. Yeah. <laughs>